The Executive Secretary, Tertiary Education Trust Fund, Tet Fund, Sonny Echono, this Monday in Abuja, met with heads of institutions that are beneficiaries of Tet Fund intervention projects and programs to discuss some of the proposed reforms that have been approved for implementation. Clevy TV's Imefo Nukon reports that the Strategic Interactive Sessions is a follow-up to the federal government's approval for the 2022 intervention funds for public tertiary institutions across the country. Welcoming heads of tertiary institutions to the Strategic Interactive Session, the Executive Secretary, Tertiary Education Trust Fund, Sonny Echono said the essence is to rebuild synergy on the disbursement of approved intervention funds to the various institutions and how such funds will be applied to achieve desired results for the overall interest of the nation's education system. As heads of test funds beneficiary institutions, you play a strategic role in the delivery of the funds mandate, hence the need for constructive interaction at this time to define the course or direction for the fund and its operations under my leadership. In his remarks, the Permanent Secretary, Federal Minister of Education, Andrew Adejo, advised heads of institutions on the need to reform tertiary institutions to avoid incessant strikes, saying the continued disruption of the academic calendar is already taking a toll on the quest for improved education standards in Nigeria. We would all agree that if there has been greater synergy between everybody involved in the university community, the present impasse between the federal government and university-based unions wouldn't have gotten to this stage. And at this point, it is important that I express the minister's appreciation to the polytechnics and colleges of education-based unions for maintaining industrial peace. We are not taking that for granted and government is making sure that that enterprise peace remains and the union, university based unions return to work. In their goodwill messages, the Executive Secretary, National Universities Commission, NUC, Professor Abubakar Rashid, and the Executive Secretary, National Commission for Colleges of Education, NCCE, Paulinus Okwele, stressed the need for maximum support and cooperation of Tate's Fund to rebuild the nation's tertiary institutions to achieve performance. We are just starting a conversation on the best way to achieve the best results for the fund. It's what we've been looking forward to, especially the heads of the regulatory agencies, so that we will have a forum where we will also sit with our heads of uh, beneficiary institutions. And we know exactly what is happening, even though we are part of the BOT where decisions are taken. We also want to follow up the implementation. The theme for the interactive meeting was ensuring synergy for effective implementation of tax fund interventions. The Tertiary Education Trust Fund, established in 1993, is an intervention agency set up to provide supplementary support to all level of public tertiary institutions with the main objective of using funding alongside project management for the rehabilitation restoration, and consolidation of tertiary education in Nigeria. Imefono Kun, reporting for Clevy Television.